Okay, can you hear in the back? <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, to stand before you, it takes a lot of, a lot of people to thank. You don't get here without having tons and tons of help and support. Everybody here is a friend of mine. I know everybody here. You've been a part of this journey. I thank you, not just for being here tonight, but just for being my friend and helping me along. Let me start by thanking, thanking the uh, search committee that hired me, uh, Doug Hamilton, Brenda Halliday, the late Wilson Siebert, the late Eddie Kiley, who my buddy Jim Nance referred to, and the late Don Scott, who is a friend of everybody that knew Don. Thank you for placing your trust in me and giving me the opportunity to lead this great club. And going back to my years at Concord Country Club, Bob Neal Cars and his committee for taking a chance on a young 26-year-old way back in 1979. Because without that, none of this happens. So thank you, Bob. Thank you, Elaine. I'd like to thank the folks that welcome Laurie and me and our young family as we arrived here in 1999. Doug and Edie, I remember hosting uh, my oldest boy, Mark, as we brought our equipment and merchandise down from Concord, New Hampshire. And to Don and Carol Scott for hosting us for dinner the night before we closed on our home in Harwich. So we will always be remembering those kindnesses. Thank you to John Dixon. John Dixon is here for all of that he has meant to our family over the years. And Bunny Dart, Bunny Dart, who made our family feel right at home at CYC. And those acts of kindness and caring made a huge difference in making us feel so comfortable here. Thank you to my predecessor, John Scheffler, for sharing all of his insight and wisdom. And along with the late Kenny Drew, providing me with a link to the history of Eastwood Hope that would prove so helpful to me in the coming years. Thank you to the past presidents who supported and guided me. Ben Goodspeed, the late Toby Sanders, who meant so much to me and to many of us in this room. Thank you, Kathy Stevens, Doug Hamilton, George Sullivan, Peter Tarrant, Billy Bauer, and Eric Bender to the golf chairman that, su that supported and encouraged me to try new things and who took major bullets and arrows for me. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you, Jack Farrell, Brian Drake, Randy Van Sickle, Peter Tarrant, Bill Healy, Hank Holden, and Philip Rosenthal. To all of the incredible people I've had a chance to work with here at Eastwood Hope, from all across all departments. It's totally a group effort here, it really is. I've enjoyed getting to know the vast majority of the 100 plus workforce here. They are a diverse and talented group of people. Special thanks to Brian Cowan. And the late Dick Davenport. And of course, to John Defoe and Frank Hancock. <laughs> working, working with these talented and dedicated professionals made me better every day. Thank you to all of the assistants that worked on my behalf and always made me look good. Where's Doug Walsh? Doug Walsh, my bagroom guy from Concord, New Hampshire. Thank you. Keith Gagnon. Keith Gagnon, who worked for me at Concord Country Club and Eastwood Hope. And most recently, Andy Walkley, Dan Kovach. Where's Andy? 
Thank you, Andy. Dan Kovacs, Jack Cade, Gwen Simkowitz. Is Gwen, Gwen, Gwen's here? And of course, my right hand man, my right hand man for the last 12 years, and our new head professional, Jason Winslow. I would be uh, remiss if I didn't mention two very key figures that played a big role in my success here. My starter extraordinaire, Tom Vandervoort. And my nemesis in the pro lady, Andrea Johnson. The impact that Andrea has had on this club is profound and I will be forever thankful for her many, many contributions. Thank you to those that taught me what it meant to be a golf professional, how to treat all people the same and without favoritism, how to run the business side of golf and a successful pro shop. Most notably, my mentor, the late Warren Birch, and his wife, Lorraine. Lorraine is right here in the front row, as she should be. Without those two people and the training that they provided me, it is hard to imagine that I would have ever made it this far. To my late parents, Bob and Barbara, for their never-ending support of me and for nurturing my love of sports, for all those rides to junior tournaments and later as my biggest fans watching me play professionally, you were always there through the good rounds and the bad. And to my late brother Bruce, who showed me how to caddy, gave me my first golf club, and showed me a proper grip. To my three children, Mark, Mackenzie, and Colin. Mark couldn't be here tonight, he has a new job and couldn't get away. But Mac and Colin are here from DC. Thank you to both of you for making me more understanding. More tolerant, more caring, more empathetic, and more compassionate. And most notably to my wife, Laurie, who put up with the life of a golf professional. The 70 hour work weeks, the lack of a summer vacation, the late dinners, the phone calls at home, all while raising our children without a fuss and at times, without a lot of help from me. Judging by how they turned out, I think you did a heck of a job, honey. <laughs> Thanks for being my best friend and for sharing this journey with me. Finally, it has been my pleasure and great joy to represent Eastwood Hall over these last 21 years. It has been the thrill of my life to help guide this great club each and every day. As a small boy hitting balls in an overgrown field some 55 years ago, who could have ever predicted it would lead to this fantastic opportunity and the dream of a lifetime. Thank you, Luis Fidel. Thank you to the entire membership, the entire staff, the greater Cape Cod golf community, for a night my family and I will remember for the rest of our lives. Thank you very much.